Hello and welcome to this little tutorial. I want to show you what the clonable attribute means. So by default, everybody visiting your area can not move stuff, but they can pick up stuff and put it into their inventory. Let me switch this glow off. And now let's say I'm a visitor here. I can grab behind my back, take the inventory, and then take something and drop it into my inventory like here. And then I can place it into other areas. But what I cannot do without special extra rights is to actually edit this creation and save it and change it. So if you want to give this extra right to people to be able to edit and save your creation, you can do so. I will make a small example. Let me create something. Let's say this is my creation. Just a quick sample. Okay. I want everybody to edit this and adapt it for their own needs. So I'm clicking the dot 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 button here and then I choose clonable by others. So this is the special extra right. They can then let me save this. They can then when they find it and put it into their area for example, they can then edit the new placement by context lasering it. This is the top controller button on your this is the top button on your controller and then they will have a little clone um, button here and when they click clone they go into edit mode and then they can save it. When they save the new creation, it won't replace your old one or anything, just the new position of the placement will be replaced by their change. So your old one is still active, of course. Now, this is a bit hard to test, but normally when I laser something by somebody else, I will not see a clone button here. In my case, I'm always seeing the clone button for my own creations, of course, because I have the right to edit them. So one thing that's interesting, when somebody else clones your creation and places it somewhere, your credits are still preserved. Anybody who context lasers the new spin-off will first of all see the new creator of the changed thing, but then there will be little asterisks with a footnote. And the footnote will say cloned from and then your name and then when you click on the clone from or a similar button text when you click there it will jump to a dialogue of the other creation and you can see the the evolution and the previous versions of the of the creation so your credit is always uh, there as original creator of the thing i hope this explains things things a bit and have fun creating and see you in the next video bye bye